wave in New England history continues with no relief in sight as residents brace for the 21st day of record-breaking temperature. Here's that last night's brownout affecting the eastern seaboard was only a warning of full-scale power shortages, which may occur unless immediate steps are taken. The governor is calling for the full cooperation of the private U.S. Industry government property, no trespassing, trespassing danger? Meanwhile, the U.S. Weather Service predicts no change. Stephen King's The Mist. Stiff, the batteries in this radio are dead as hell. I thought you just brought them. Yeah, so did I. Just have to wait for the six o'clock news on TV. Hey, champ, how's your appetite? Hey, Dad, did you see it? What's that, Billy? The clouds, sort of, only they aren't clouds. Hey, <laughs> Steph, here's your weather report. The tan is almost ready. Hope your boys got enough Pepsi from town yesterday. Hey, Mom, come on and see the clouds. Ooh, there wasn't anything about a storm on the news. It looks real. I think it's going to be a good one. I never saw clouds like that. Let's move on to the porch. Come on, David, maybe we should eat inside. Ah, it's way too while, Steph. It's really scary, isn't it, Dad? David, it's coming across the lake. I think we should go in. It's getting dark fast. Right, come on, champ, get those potato chips. We're going inside. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Come on, the wind's gonna start up soon. Dad, do you see that? Hmm. What is it? It's a water cyclone. Oh, let's go in. This is really scary. All right, go on down to the basement. I'll be down in a minute. Go on with your mother. I'm going to find some candles in case the lights go out. Steph. Are we going to be all right? Oh, sure. This place has stood up to God knows what all. It'll stand up. Hold the lights. Daddy? Hey, we're going to be fine. We'll just sit tight down here while Wayla blows over, okay? It's just a branch. Probably hit the glass doors. I'm frightened. It's all right, champ. The rains are coming. It's going to ruin the furniture. Your mother's dressing. Oh, come on, now. sit down, Steph. We can't do anything about it now. Let's just get some rest. Oh, God.
me this beer to give to you. Oh, thanks, champ. Can I have some? Sure thing. Yuck. <laughs> Mom says she can't even get WLXR on the car radio. It's probably the storm. Can I go over to the Bivers and see what happened there? All right, just for a couple of minutes. We're going into town soon. Oh, Norton, you poor lame bastard. You never should have left Boston. Like that JBQ. They say there's a lot of damage. When will the power company be out? Soon, I hope. I cleaned up the glass, but I wish you'd do something about the tree in the living room. All right, as soon as I clear the drive. What's that? Hmm? That's Norton talking to his chainsaw. Oh, that's not it. Billy, stop! Oh, my God. It's Billy, don't move! Wired. Billy, don't get any don't closer, say. champ. Go around the other way. Get in the house right now. It's all right. He's okay now. Dad, you want to see Go it? in right now. Oh, come on, Ma. I want to show Dad the T-Bird. Don't argue with me. You do like your mother says. Hi, Brett. Hi. What happened to your T-Bird? A friggin' tree fell on it. On your 55 T-Bird, it yeah, did. Yeah, well, it that's did. That's too bad. Ah, I can't even get my chainsaw to fire. I paid $200 for that piece of crap. Do you want a beer, Mr. Norton? Yeah, sure. You got a light beer? Just plain bud. Oh, anything. Thanks. You want me to come over and help you cut the tree off your T-Bird? No, I don't even want to look at it. Well, we're going into town if you want anything. I'd like to come. All right. <laughs> okay. When you're ready to go in, let me know. Okay. I'm scared. Why? It's over. Is it? Last winter was so strange, and now this spring, you know, they call it a black spring. Mrs. Carmody says there hasn't been one in these parts since 1888. Mrs. Carmody is nuts. We had a hard winter and a late spring, and now we're having a hot spell and a storm. That wasn't an ordinary storm. <sighs> oh, oh God. What? Look at the boathouse. Son of a bitch. Ah, that's Norton's tree, isn't it? Yeah. I thought that you asked him to take it down. Oh, what can I do? Sue him? He He's a lawyer. Is a jerk. Dad, look at that. Billy, what I is thought it? I. It's a fog bank. On the lake? Sure, you've seen fog in the lake before. Only in damp weather. Yeah, well, we got it now. It's left over from the storm. It's a temperature inversion. Temperature inversion. Yeah, it's something. You sound like Grant Will you Norton. lighten up, will you? You go one storm and you go to the twilight zone on me. You lighten up. You're starting up. to sound like Mrs. Carmody counting the rings on caterpillars and milkweed juice for it warts. It worked? Yeah, sure. What is really happening? I don't know. Hey, Chip, you ready to go to town? You want to come too, sir? Don't patronize me. I'm sorry. I want you to come. Come on, we'll have lunch. I'll stay here. There's a lot of things for me to clean up. Ah, come on, come on. I better now. I'm going to stay here. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, you got a shopping list? Mm-hmm. Be careful. You too. Come on, Jane. Go get Norton. We got to roll. You don't want to change your mind. No, it's okay, honey. Go on. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye-bye. See if WOXO is back on. Nope. Mm, try WBLM. There's WJBQ. W-I-G-Y. No, BLM is off. It's funny. What's that? Just thinking. What stations are on the other side of the fog front? You mean the transmitters? Well, they must all be above Stoneham, to the west of Old Shamor Road. Shamor's where they have the government's projects. Yeah, I wonder if the Arrowhead Project got hit. <laughs> Who cares? Just some agricultural station. I bet they're the ones that developed the ideal tomato. You know, the ones we eat. Looks good, great for shipping, firm, bounces like a tennis ball, tastes like toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know. They locked up pretty good up there. Armed guards at the gates at some tomatoes. Victor McAllister says they're shooting atoms into the air. Yeah, it's full of atoms. Everything's made of atoms. I know that, only these are different atoms. <laughs> it's okay, Big Bill. <laughs> Look, the power line's down there. Watch out! Oh, you stupid turd! You take that Yamaha and shove it up! Brent! Up. Brent! You know, the kid? Oh, yeah. That looks good skewered on a foot ornament of an old 88. What's skewer? Skewer, that's where they take a nice piece of fresh meat and they run a... Grant, you ever had any children? Me? No way.
electricity. Not a point. The supermarket looks open. And the pharmacy. And Mrs. Carm huh? Carmody. That old wacko still in business? She's got some nice stuff. I might pick up something for Steph. She's a sucker for stained glass. Listen, you two go on ahead. Get a cart and start. Right. I'll be right with you. Come on, Billy. Oh, I haven't seen you in the shop in a long time, Mr. Drayton. Hello, Mrs. Carmody. I do see your wife quite often, though. Lovely girl. I see the laundromat's out of commission. Yes. It's almost like the last times, isn't it? I spoke with the Savior only this morning, after breakfast, and he told me, lay not up your store in worldly goods. Now, have you seen these lovely canvas texture prints I have? They're by Fanta de la Tour, you know. I, uh, I noticed that leaded glass piece in the window. That's, uh, uh -huh. that's new, isn't it? You? Why, no. Workmanship like that's done nowadays, Mr. Drayton, in my father's time. How much is it? Well, in a righteous world, it would be priceless. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Steffi might like it. Have you seen the lake? Hmm? The lake? The black spring last came in 1888. The ice turned black as a rotting tooth, and when it began to crack from underneath it, there came... Mrs. Carmody, um, I'll take it. Will that be cash or charge, Mr. Drayton? Hello? Hello? Maybe I'll give Steffi a Hello? call. Hello? Oh, how much? Not working? Can't even get the operator. None of them working? They never should have broken up AT&T. Some phone company we've got. Nothing. Ow! Oh, Fred, those doors aren't working. You all right? These automatic doors. I thought they were automatic. The power's out. Oh. Come on, Fred, push. Push, push, push! <laughs> now, how are you doing? We can't figure out Mom's handwriting. Well, let's see. Yeah, can you things off? Yeah, I noticed. Is it cold enough to give you a cross? Milk, Monterey Jack cheese, Land O'Lakes butter, Diet Coke, Doritos, cucumbers, tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. I got the mayonnaise. Okay, let's see. Wieners and bologna. What kind? How about Tobin's first class factors? Did she want Kraft Miracle Whip? There's Oscar Mayer bologna. Or was it Hellman's real mayonnaise? I saw two army guys, but they were from the Arrowhead Project. <laughs> I bet they are. Oh, the Lancers. Ugh. They were playing with the walkie-talkies. I don't know what they're doing here. Check on the price of tomatoes. Pick crops. Come on, let's get in line. Huh? Yeah, they're using hand calculators. It's going to take forever. Mm, cool it, champ. You ought to see the mist! It's rolling right up Kansas Road! <laughs> Billy, why don't you go out and have a look? No. Come on, the kid's curious. What is it, Daddy? Is Mommy all right? That yeah, must be a fire, honey. Hey, you haven't paid for that! Hey, you! Hey, come back here with those hot dog rolls! There's something out there. Wait, you owe me for those mushrooms. Something in the mist. I'll give you back my mushrooms. Daddy, why is this clear bloody? He's okay, Big Why is he bloody? Uh, keep your eye on the job, please. Here, you do it if you think you can do it fast. You leave this dead and you're fired, mister. Look, hey, I, I mean the bud. Would you just check out the rolling? Thank you. No. I want mommy. Oh, well, I want the damn lights. It's not the lights. The lights were out when we got here. It's something else. It's out of the Oh, jeez, you an idiot. Oh, six pack of coke. I don't know what a... Nick, look, check what that was. Don't go out there. It's death. I have felt the breath. It's death out there. What the hell is this? We're not going to just walk like this. Let's get out of here. What do you say? I'll take it easy. Come on, we don't know what. Roll up the windows. Roll up the windows. Butter for the earth and its treasures. The grasshopper lies heavy in the grass as the heavens prepare to open. It's the end. Billy, I'll have to put you down now. You're breaking my arm. Is Bobby okay? She's really moving about. Look at Kendall. What I want to say is we just have to go through it.
your people. All your people, listen. Maybe some kind of natural disaster here. That was an earthquake. <coughs> the one they had in Naples four years ago. Yes, go. Death Naples. waits for you out there. I know. I have seen its face, and it is an ancient face. The face of the Dark One. The face of blood It is here. Cut the crap, you old witch. Nobody wants to listen to your Look, crap. If we organize in an orderly fashion. He's bathroom. right. Let's just wait a few minutes Where's until it clears up. Husband? Why hasn't he come back? Why hasn't any of them come back? Wait! Wait until we can do something about it! How can I wait? My kids are at home! I, I want to go home! I want my mother! I have to go to the bathroom! Cut that brat off! What did you say? Take it Come on, Dave! I can't stay here! I've got to get home! I want to see Mommy! It's okay, honey. It's okay. They're both very young. Will someone help me? You! Will you see me home? Listen, lady, I work here. I have to stay here. You! Look, first we have to consider the possibility of all this happening. I don't... You! I understand how you feel, lady, but I've got a kid of my own here. You just have to wait a few minutes. Won't anyone see me home? Oh, lady. I hope Listen. you all rot in hell! Let's go. Oh, the red dress is dissolving on this. Oh, I'm going out. I'm going out. No, you're not. Yes, I am. That's not regular fog. It isn't, is it? I don't think so. I'm cold. You stay here. I'll get you something to cover you up with. That's strange. Hear it? What'd you hear? I don't know, but I don't want to hear it again. Who turned the generator on? I did. Something's blocking the exhaust. The fumes are backing up in there. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it going. Yeah. Well, we're going to need some flashlights. <coughs> Smells pretty rank. Guess you were right to shut her down. Try it now, Ollie. Hey, something's plugged that exhaust, all right. I'll tell you what, get the power running long enough to raise that loading door back there, and I'll go out and clear away whatever it is. I wouldn't go out there. No, I bet you wouldn't. No, Norm, I don't think that's a good idea. That's okay, I'll do it. No, no, you don't understand. I really don't think it's wise. It was my idea. No, you don't understand. If you open that loading door and something gets in... Like what? Like whatever made that noise I heard. Yeah, well, maybe you got me here in the dark and got a little confused, you know what I mean? And maybe, and maybe before you go screwing around, you ought to think about those people who already tried to go out. Maybe you ought to... Hey, when anybody wants your advice, we'll ask for it. But the generator isn't that important. The food and the cold cases will keep for 12 hours or more with absolutely no... Okay, kid, you're it. I'll start the motor, you raise the door high enough to duck under, then I'll shut her down. Give a yell when it's clear. I'll be standing by. This is crazy! You let that lady go out by hey, herself? I didn't notice you break your blood to score that. You let this kid go out and risk his life? Why don't you shut up? I'm tired of listening to your candy-ass crap. You ready, Norm? Norm! No. Norm, you don't have to prove anything. Look, just leave it be. Something's dead out there. What's the smell? No, 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 something else. Hold up. Okay, Norm. This isn't necessary. The cold cases will stop. Why don't you go back and tend your groceries? Leave this junk in hey, Get it off. Jeez. Get this friggin' thing off me. It's a tentacle. Help me, you guys, please. Hey, get back to the door. Help me, for God's sake. Get back to the door. Get the reach of the 
Uncle Gus, you did. Well, what is it? Hey, come on, don't. It's not going to solve anything. She didn't get it. You got that boy killed. Come on, I said quit it. Okay. Now, look, we got to think what to do next. Shut that generator down. Yeah, let's get out of here. Look, I'm sorry about the kid, but you got to understand. And I don't got to understand a damn thing. You stay away from me, buddy. Now, one thing. Not one word to anybody until Ali and I get out there. Not anybody. We're going to make sure that they understand what really happened in here. Ali? Uh, yeah, right here. That a flashlight? No. On top of those boxes. Yeah. about the part about you sending that kid out there if you back us up. I'm sorry. What if they get in? Huh? The tentacles? I'm sorry. Have you taken a look at the front of this place? Big class. Oh, yeah. Holy. Let me get Brent Norton. We're going to need all the help we can get. Let's hope we got there. Let's head over by the beer cooler. This is going to stop, but I can tell you that. Look, someone should plug up that hole in the window. Which window? The plate glass. A piece fell out of the corner. Something really stinks out there. Listen, you know the man who came in all bloody shouting about something, grabbed his friend? Yeah, the guy with the nosebleed. Yeah, well, he wasn't hallucinating. Come on, I want to show you something. You feeling okay? No. Now, you see those double doors? Yeah. They open onto the storeroom. One of those men drinking beer, isn't he the assistant manager? Yeah, it's Ollie, right. If Brown sees that, I can promise you the man will be looking for another job very soon. Listen, there's something back there, outside. It tried to get in when we opened the loading door. Something that kills people. Hey, you want a beer? You bet. Anyway, it's still out there. We all saw it. Yeah, it's true. Believe me. What kind you want? It doesn't matter. He's right. Tentacles. I don't know how many. Yeah, yeah I see. All right. We got an arm and... I can't. Yeah, it's Miller time, right? Brent, listen. I don't know how much you guys have been drinking. But Look, we're not is. drunk. Okay. Not on this light beer, I'll okay. tell you that. All right, maybe a little group hysteria, but I think it's a little joke here at my expense. And given another time, I might think it's funny, but there are people that are scared, and I don't think it's funny. Brent, there is a chunk of tentacle on the floor in there. He's you right. can see it for yourself. The loading door cut it off when it came down. You can hear him rustling all over outside the door. No. What? I said no. The joke has gone far enough. Man, I swear this is no joke. You expect me to go back there and gawk at some 98 cent rubber novelty while these hicks stand around and laugh their asses off? Who are you calling a hit? I'm glad that tree fell in your book house. You want to know the truth? Stole it in pretty good, didn't it? Fantastic. Now get out of my way. You dig your ears out. You listen. There are lives at stake. You're my son, not the least of them. So you listen, or I swear I'll go ahead and beat up a man with a heart condition if it makes you feel Screw good. Screw his heart. I don't think a cheap New York shyster like him has a heart. Brent, I, I need, need you, go. damn it. Let me not go. until you see for yourself. Help me. Well, what are you yelling for? It's a joke, right? Let me go. Here, what is this? He can let me go. He's crazy. He's not crazy. I wish he was. You're drinking. Now come off it, but at a time like this. Regulations don't change. I'll see the company hears of this. Go. Hey. Hey. Hello, everybody in the store. You, you want to come back and hear this? Concerns all of you. Dave, what am I doing? All right, let, listen up. There's something uh, you all had better know. Put that right now. You shut up right now, Mr. Brown. 
I, I don't know what some of you think you're doing, but I can tell you it's going to be reported to the Federal Food Company, and there may be charges. Go ahead and take down names. Just don't talk. I just can't okay, now listen. David Drayton has something to tell you, and I think you all had better listen in case you were planning to go home. Uh, I, I don't want to scare you, but there's something alive out there in the mist. Something extremely dangerous. It's a lie. I can tell it's, you that. It's not a lie. There's a piece of it back there in the stock what? room. It got in when we opened the loading doors a few minutes ago. It? It's already killed what? one person. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Where do you suppose it came from? I don't know. The point is it's here. I suspect it came out of one of those Budweiser cans. Say it, Budweiser. Yes. And what do you propose to do about it, Mr. David Drayton? What do you think you can do about it? It's the last times, I tell you. The moving finger has writ, not in lines of fire, but of mist. The earth has opened and spewed forth its abomination. That's about enough, Mrs. Carmody. You stay away from me. It's the end. It's a load of crap is what it is! No, sir. It's the flat-out truth I thought myself. So did I! The sick joke! Oh, why are we standing here arguing? Come back and take a look! Customers are not allowed in the store. But, oh. Bud! Bud, just go with them! Let's settle this thing! All right, all right. enough is enough. Let's get this oh, Come on! This is terrible. Dog food and Bleach and detergent. You do that? Huh? That's what did all this. So. Come over here. That's, that, that's the part the door cut off. Mm. It's just a small piece of it. Don't touch it. It may still be alive. But if you're gonna poke at it, use your pen, not your finger. I don't see what could possibly. It is alive. Grab my pen. Maybe you better use a blue stick. It's wrapped around something. It's opening. A finger. Oh, oh my God, it's enormous. You seen enough? Yes. Then you better tell them. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it uh, appears we have a problem of some magnitude here. Take you for a ride in a shopping cart. Did I sleep long? Yeah, a little while. What time is it? About 4:30. More to consider. Are there no more ruffles? They're all gone. Hey, here's some munchos. No. How about taco flavored chips? No. Hey, look, cheeses. Huh? Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you understand. There is no defense against the will of God. There are none so blind as will not see. Well, what are you saying? What are you proposing? Proposing? I'm proposing that you prepare to meet your God. <laughs> Go meet Diddley Squat. <laughs> Dowder goes down to the end. Yet a monstrosity did drag that poor boy away. Things in the mist, abominations, eyeless freaks, pallid horrors. Do you doubt? Then yeah, go outside, yeah. go on out and say how do you do? Mrs. Carmody, you are gonna have to stop. There are children here, you understand what I'm saying? Chance. What chance is that? A sacrifice! Oh, oh, right. Come. Shut up! We don't want to hear that talk. Nobody wants to hear what yeah, you have to say. They'll come for you tonight. You'll hear them coming, creeping and crawling, and you'll beg for Mother Carmody to show you what to do. You'll see! I wanna go home. That old lady's crazy as a bed bug, but she could be right about something moving in after dark. The mist will blow over by then. What are we gonna do about those windows? Right. One of those things you saw in the back decides to hit the glass. We're all up to Chocolate Creek without a piss and for a paddle. Yeah. Listen, there's a pile of laundry right. bags down there. 25 pound yeah. sacks, green acres, yeah. and bigger rope. We could put them up like sandbags up against yeah. that. Well, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. He's, he's right. Let's do that. He's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hold, hold. Right. Let's figure this out while we're all together. All right. All right. All right. All right. Go get some cracker jacks. Anybody anybody I got a shot. They're about two aisles that way. I'm going to try for it. Right now, that's a very good idea. Yeah, right now, I think you're right. Wait a minute. I have this gun. All right. 
And my husband's idea. He thought I should have it for protection. Is your husband here? No, he's in New York on business. Oh. Uh, if you can use it, you better hold on to it. What do you got there, a 38? Yeah, I've never fired it in my life. Okay, we got a gun. Anyone shoots good? No, I should. Hey, yeah, wait, I've got a little target shooting over in there. That's yours. This may sound a bit off the wall, but there aren't any flamethrowers in this place, are there? Oh, shit, until last week we had a whole carton of those little uh, blow torches. They weren't well, The propane things. Oh, oh, Daddy, the Cracker Jack's all oh, look, gone. Only right, thing left is the screaming yellow sound. Okay. I guess Zonkers will have to do, huh? All right. Salt. Tell you what I think. I think we ought to wrap some of those old cedar mop handles with cloth, tie them with twine, have a couple of cans of lighter fluid already. Eat salt. Why doesn't someone come and rescue us? Well, do you know what's happening? No. Neither does anyone else. Do you think Mom's okay? No, yeah, I just don't know. I want her awfully bad. Billy. I want flashlights for these people. I'm sorry, we'll have to share the few we have. I have a group here that needs to have light. We have two, but that's all. We must share our dwindling supply. We have a lot of batteries. Victor's Brent and Norton are lobbying for a group. There's Mrs. Turner. Hi, Billy. Stephanie here, David? No, she's at home. Now and two. How long here on watch you? Till six. You seen anything out there? Just the mist. I'll keep Billy till six if you like. Do you like that, Billy? Okay. Let's go. I'm sure everything will be okay with Stephanie you now. You're nuts if you don't. Let me pass. You're nuts. Let me pass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk this thing. We are going out for May. And I stress, May. There'll be some risk involved. It's a matter of options and probabilities. It's the only rational thing to do. Listen, McKee is going to barbecue some chicken over the gas grill. We'll get some hot food into us and talk about Move it. Move out of our way. Do what you want, but you're as good as murdering those other people. Mr. Norton. Come on. Let's get out of this nut house. Brent, Brent, wait a minute. I don't want to discuss this any further, David. Certainly not with you. I know you don't. I want to ask you a favor. What's that? I have 300 feet of clothesline. So? Just tie one end around your waist before you go out. When you feel it come tight, tie the other end around something else. And then forget about it. Doesn't matter what, a, a car bumper, a door why, handle, why, anything. Why, why, why? In case you need to find your way back. And it'll tell me you got at least 300 feet. No. No. All right, good luck anyway. I'll do it. Here. Thanks. Just tie it around your waist, and I'll let it out. Do you want to take my knife? No, it's all right. I got one. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Are we finally ready? Good luck, man. Oh, don't worry, David. We'll send someone back to lead the rest of you out by the hand. That stuff is as thick as pea soup. Yeah. Yeah. Swallowed them right up. How far? Over half. 150 feet. It stopped. Right there, close again. Yeah, three quarters. That's about 225. Uh, look at that rope go. It stopped. Close the door. Wait a minute. Let me pull the rope in. It's slack. It's not attached to anything. Hurry, hurry, please. Oh, look at that. It's soaked in blood. It's been chewed. Now, do you believe death? Death out there! Shut the door. I have some barbecue chicken and potato salad. We gotta eat, big guy. I'm not hungry. I have cran apple and triscuits. No. Okay. Go get a peach. You like peaches. What if Mr. Brown says something? Well, if he says something, you come back and tell me. Okay. How bad will it be tonight? I don't know. Let me keep Billy as much as you like. If, if I have Billy, I'm so worried about Alan. I have, I have terrible feeling he's already dead. Don't you feel anything about Stephanie? No. 
Do you like Rikers? Not really. Here comes Billy. Come with me, Billy. I'll show you how to make a little man out of a peach pit and some thread. Won't that be fun? Hey, where's the boy? With Mrs. Terman. You want one of these? Clausen's kosher pickles. Thanks. So what's happening? Three guys on watch this shift. This thing's moving around out there. Huh? I'm not drunk. I've been trying, but... What are you talking about? Ah, Tom Smalley saw it too. Sometimes a little smudge in the mist, sometimes a big dark place. Then it fades again. Even Arnie Sims saw something. Arnie's blind as a bat. The others? Ah, the staters. I didn't ask any of them. What's that? Sun made. Raisins? Well, it's not prunes. The one thing I don't need is prunes. Well, thanks. Look at that old Mrs. Carmody staring at a plate full of chicken bones and slurping up a can of V8. She looks healthy. Yeah. I guess she was right about one thing. When it gets dark, we'll find out. You too, Ollie. 
Are we still here? Yeah, we're still here. Hey, kid. Everything's gonna look a little better come morning. No, it won't. Shh. It won't. It's past his bedtime. I want my mother. Yeah, of course you do. Come on. I'll hold you. Thanks. He needed you. He doesn't even know me. You're here. You're warm. Wish I was. I'm cold. You want some uh, peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> Skippy super chunk. I prefer the smooth. What do you think about all this? Ask me in the morning. I'm asking you now. Well, I think we ought to try to keep warm. All right. I know where they keep the pillows and, you know, the polyester coverlets. I checked that, bro. They're all gone. I mean, the spring sale stuff. I've seen it up the steps by the manager's office. You could leave them with Mrs. Terman. I think she's... Hmm. You come with me for a minute. Okay. Uh, you watch Billy for a second? Sure. What is it? In the storeroom. I need your help. All right. Shine the light up there. Nobody knows about this, so don't scream. What is it? That. Those two army kids from the Arrowhead Project. Here. Drink this. Huh? It's cold beer. You're gonna need it. Oh. Look, I came back to see if we had any extra cartridges for the gas grill that the guy's been using. I saw these guys. The way I figured, they, they must have gotten the nooses ready and stood on top of those two piles of cartons. Must have tied their hands for each other, you know, and then balanced each other while they stepped through the length of the rope between their wrists so so that their hands could be behind them, you know. Then, uh, I don't know, I'm only guessing, but they, they stuck their heads into the nooses and pulled them tight by jerking their heads to one side. Maybe one of them counted to three and they jumped together. I don't know. It couldn't be done. It could. If they wanted to bad enough, David, they could. I think you know why. Not any of the tourists. There's some people like that guy Miller, but there are people from around here who could make a pretty decent guess. Arrowhead Project. Yeah. I stand by those registers all day long. I hear a lot. All this spring I've been hearing things about that damned Arrowhead thing. None of it good. Black ice in the lakes. Out of Lone Lake? I, I've heard stuff from, I don't know, two dozen people. Justin Robards, Nick Tokai, Ben Michelson. You just can't keep secrets in a small town. Things get out. Sometimes it's... It's like a spring, you know? It just bubbles up out of the earth and... No one has any idea where it came from. You just... You overhear something at the library. You pass it on or... At the marina in Harrison. God knows where else or why. But all spring and summer I've been hearing Arrowhead Project, Arrowhead Project. But these two... I mean, Christ, I mean, they're just kids. They were kids of Nam who used to take ears. I was there, I saw it. But what would drive them to this? I don't know. Maybe they knew something. Maybe they only suspected something. I don't know, but they must have known people in here would start asking questions eventually. If there's going to be an eventually. If you're right, it must be something really bad. That storm, Dave. Maybe it knocked something loose up there. Maybe there was an accident. They could have been fooling around with anything. Some people claim they were messing around with high-intensity lasers and masers. Sometimes I hear fusion power. And suppose, just suppose, they ripped a hole straight through to another dimension. Oh, I don't know. What are we going to do with them? Oh, Christ, I think we better just cut them down and uh, hide them. You know, put them under a pile of stuff that nobody's going to use, dog food, detergent, stuff like that. This gets out, it's only going to make things worse. That's why I came to you. I felt you're the only guy that I can really trust. Who's going to cut them down? Me or you? <sighs> One each. All right, let's make it quick.
Mr. Drayton? David? What was it? It was nothing. You liar. It was a false alarm. That's how you want it? I've just been up to the manager's office. It's empty. There's a lock on the door. Mrs. Terman is looking after Billy. It's warmer up there. I need you. All right. Make me warm, please. Make me warm. Have a hostess ding dong. No thanks. Now have a donut. Oh, that white sugar is death. It's worse than cigarettes. In that case, take two. Nah, I ought to get back to my kid. Those pink bugs? They're gone. So are the things with the leathery wings. The last one hit the window around 4 a.m. Apparently, the wildlife here is a lot more active when it's dark. You don't want to tell Brent Norton that. I didn't get much sleep last night. But I got a chance to think over a few things. We can't stay here. Well, there's food, there's plenty to drink. We're sitting in a fishbowl. If one of those really big beasties that roars out there decides to go bump into the glass, what then? Drive it off with broomsticks? There are about 50 people in here when the mist came. From that, you subtract the bag boy, Morton and the four people that left with him, and that man, Tom Smalley. That leaves 43. Maybe 41. Huh? No, nothing. You subtract the people who just zonked out, turned vegetables, say 10. That leaves 33. But we've got 15 or so who won't leave no matter what. You want any of this? Nah, I don't like Diet Pepsi. Caffeine-free Coke? No. So what do your numbers prove? We've got to get out. Around noon. I'll take as many as will come with me. After what happened to Norton? Norton went like a lamb to slaughter. We have exactly one gun. But if we could make it across the intersection to the sportsman's exchange, they're loaded with guns. That is a big if. It's an iffy situation. Come here. Tell me what you see out there. The mist. That blue Chevy station wagon is mine. The parking lot was jammed yesterday, right? Now, Norton and his four members of the Flat Earth Society go out, almost to the full length of the clothesline. Then we hear roaring, like a herd of rogue elephants. It sure as hell wasn't elephants. It sounded big, right? So how come we didn't hear cars getting bashed around? Metal, breaking glass. Okay, you tell me. I think we didn't hear any cars getting knocked around because they're gone. Fallen into a hole in the ground. Vaporized, you name it. Remember that thump after the mist came? Strong enough to splinter these beams and knock stuff off the shelves. And the town whistle stop at the same time. If you're right. If the ground opened up, how far are you going to get in a station wagon? Well, I wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking of your four-wheel drive. That's it? One other thing to consider. Her, a crazy witch. This is comedy. By tonight, she'll have more people with her. She's ranting about a sacrifice, blood sacrifice, to make it all better. No kidding. Maybe it'll be me, or you, or your kid. Well, that's idiocy. Is it? The people here are going through a section eight. I spent half of last night thinking I flipped my gourd, that I was in a straitjacket watching my mind raves about bugs and dinosaur birds and tentacles, and it will all go away as soon as an orderly comes and gives me my Thorazine. I'll tell you, as everyone gets flakier, she's going to sound better and better to some of them, and I don't want to be around when it happens. What do you say? I'm not going to do my kid any good by getting killed. You're not helping him by sitting on your butt. What about the pharmacy next door? What about it? Well, it's only 20 feet away. Why haven't any of those people come over here? It crossed my mind. The sure not over there eating Dristan and stay free mini pads. All right, what do you say to this? Four or five of us could make it next door. We'll check out the situation, and then we'll know more about where we stand. How soon? Give me an hour.
refuses to believe, but believe me, there are creatures out there. There are beasts with cloven hooves and eyes of hatred that will feed upon you, all of you, unless you stop this cowering, this fearful whimpering that draws them closer like a dog that smells fear, unless you see there is a light in this darkness. I don't want you to go. Listen, Chen, I don't want to go either, but I'll be right back. I want you here with me. I'll tell you what. I'll bring you back a Spider-Man comic book, how's that? Daddy, please don't go. Believe me, Billy. I'll be right back, okay? All right. Okay. How's Billy? <sighs> he ate two bowls of Count Chocula. He's doing fine. I'll look after him for you. Mrs. Terman's with him. You really have to do this? Hope you don't mind my saying this, but it sounds like so much macho crap to me. Well, it sounds like you've been listening to Mrs. Carmody. You afraid of her? To be honest, yeah. I don't know. She has a poisonous aura, all right. Take care. I will. What's that you have, Miss Repler? Now, this is a bag filled with Raid and Black Flag. And this I found in the sporting goods department of Spalding Jimmy Connors' tennis racket. What are you going to do I'm with it? I'm not sure, but it feels right in my hand. Didn't I have you in school? Yes, ma'am. Me and my sister Pauline. Too much to drink last night? Oh, no. But I think we're ready. We're not taking any chances. The first sign of anything, we hop right back here. And bring the fiends of hell down on all our heads. Why can't you leave well enough alone? Lady, is this what you call well enough? You'll die out there, David Drayton. Don't you recognize that the fiend has been let loose? Star Wormwood blazes, and each one who steps out that door will be devoured. And they'll come for those of us who are left. Are you going to let that happen? After what befell the unbelievers yesterday? It's death! It's death! Shut up, you miserable old buzzard! Who serves the fall one? Who did you sleep with last night, missus? Who did you lie down with, Mother Carmody sees? Oh, yes, Mother Carmody sees it all. Are we gonna stand here jawing all day, or are we gonna do it? Let's do it! Yeah, let's go! Let's do it! 20 feet. Only 20 feet. Trash barrel. Bench. Hey, fool. Miller, you there? Yes. God, the body's all over the place. It's a It's like some insane party. Streamers all over the place. What the hell is this stuff? There's something odd about that man. That one? His head is missing. Oh. Why did they leave their doors open? That's it. It was the smell. What do you mean? The mist smells rank, all right. You mean something smelled these people in here and came after them? How else? You can't see in the mist. They found a sense of smell. They came... Dave, here's a Spider-Man comic, and uh, you want an Incredible Hulk. What is that stuff crisscrossing all over up there? Streamers. Some kind of silken webs. Look at this. Some black, bristly thing. Oh, Dave, Dave, what? Out of here, get out. You can get at the spider webs. It's the bitch, I got out of the mist. They're coming up from all over the place. They're covering me.
Nice throw. Nothing to it. <laughs> the dirty bastard snatched my market basket. Daddy! Hey, Billy! Ooh! It's all right. I brought you a Spider-Man, an incredible Hulk comic book. <laughs> find one quart of skin milk that's still good. Thanks. We're worried about Mrs. Carmody. What time is it? It's about four. What about Mrs. Carmody? She's stirring things up. We gotta put a stop to it quick. There are about eight people with her now. She never shuts up. It's like some kind of crazy church service. Eight isn't that many? It's enough. Miller and Hatlin are gone. She started talking about human sacrifice again. Stop talking that dribble in my store right now. You're the one that better shut up. You listen to me. It's still a free country for that kind of troublemaking. You just... Oh! And they've drawn the first blood. They mean business. Where do you think they'll go? I don't intend to find out. It's easy to say. I intend to get out or die trying. There have been three suicides. Pills. You carried the bodies in back. It's thinning out. I'm just going to get a lot thinner. We'll make it to your car. Believe me. Hail the first rose closer than that drugstore. That's right. We're going to find ourselves outnumbered pretty soon. Human sacrifice. Can you believe that crap? I'm beginning to. Who do you think will single out for the honor? I don't know. There's one last chance. I'm game, so to speak. If we make it to the scout, running, pile in and get the windows rolled up, that would cut off the scent. What if they're attracted to something else? Yeah, it might be the exhaust, motion of the car. Then we're cooked. Where would you go? First, home. Get my wife. Dave. All right, check on my wife to be sure. And then south, try to get out of the mist. How much gas you got? Almost full. It might be impossible to go south to get out. Yeah, I thought about that. Who would you take? You three and Billy. Mr. Terman, Miss Rappler, even Brown, if he'll leave his store. That's eight. Billy can sit on somebody's lap. All right. All right, let's try it. Have you mentioned this to anyone? Not yet. My advice is don't. I'm going to go uh, collect a couple of bags of groceries. All right, we'll squeak out when folks are asleep. If she finds out, she'll try to stop us. You think so? I think so. Check out. I'll right. go first and uh, get the doors open. Bud, right. you coming? I'm staying with the store, Ollie. It's my life. Adios. Good luck. Okay, Billy. Right, Your scout's a four door, isn't it? Yeah. All right, look, I'm going to open the driver's side and the back door at the same time. Dave, you get behind the wheel. The rest of us. Where did you think us. you were going? We're going out now, Mrs. Carmody. Ask your people to stand away, please. You can't go out. That way lies death. Don't you know that by now? And here. What have we here? Huh? Your little store of groceries! These are the sort who brought it on! People who will not bend to the will of the Almighty! Sinners in pride! Haughty they are! It is from their number that the sacrifice must come! From their number the blood of expiation! It's the boy we want! Grab him! Take him! If I do, get his whore too! Get the boy! Get the whore! Oh, 
What do you think she planned to do for my son? Holly, let's get out of here. I killed her. Damn, if I didn't kill her. Yeah, I know you did. Now let's go. Look, I wouldn't have shot her. Not, not if there'd been any other way. I know, I know, Ali. Come on. You believe me? I believe you. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go. Try. Oh, are we gonna sit here all day? I'm looking for my keys. Oh no! Oh please! Ah, I knew they were here. <laughs> Miller was right. The highway's cracked to hell. Spots the grounds came in. Thank God for the four wheel drive. We're gonna try. After you check out, then what? Then we'll head south toward Hartford. The bridges may be down. Some of them, but not all. We can siphon gas at the stations and keep heading. Damn it. What is it? That old pine fell clean across the road. I guess that's it. You never get around that. Are we home? No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so am I. What is that? I don't know. I'm not waiting around to find out. David! Hey, quiet down. It's getting closer! I know. Get on the jerry bike for live distances. I hope so. It's closer. Drive faster. Is that it? It's passing over the top of us. And the Colossus, its legs look like towers. Hey, legs. Sick. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so tall. I can't even see it. Was it a dinosaur? I don't think so. I don't think there ever was an animal that big. Not on this end. Try your radio. All right. Does that mean everything's off the air? We should be picking up WRKO. WBZ from Boston. The mist is causing interference. Are you sure they even exist? I don't know. Exit 13. There used to be a Howard Johnson's here. We haven't seen a living soul since we started. Is it all right? Yes. We're safe. Yeah. 
No. We have to get some sleep. Did you hear that? I thought I heard a voice. A word. You didn't hear that. It sounded like Hartford. Hartford? Yeah. The Mist was based upon the story by Stephen King, adapted for radio by M. Fulton, with special thanks to Dennis Etchison. The Mist was directed by Bill Raymond. The music was composed and performed by Tim Clark. Location sound engineer was Bob Balecki. Featured in the cast, David Drayton, played by Bill Sadler. Thanks, Jim. Can I have some? Sure thing. Billy, by Lute Ramblin'. Yuck. <laughs> Stephanie, Linda Hartinian. You want a beer, Mr. Norton? Yeah, sure. You got a light beer? Brent Norton, Jim Straws. Mrs. Carmody, Ruth Malachek. What is the only cleanser for sin in the eye and mind of God? What is it? Ollie, Dan Florek. When it gets dark, we'll find out. Amanda Dumfries, Susan Berman. I know where they keep the pillows and, you know, the polyester coverlets. Miss Repler, Beatrice Roth. That old pine fell clean across the road. Bud Brown, David Brisbane. I'm staying with the store, Ollie. It's my life. Stella Hatlin, Valeria Vasilewski. It's like some insane party. Streamers all over the place. Miller, Tom Glynn. Ordinary earthly spider, something totally different. Perhaps not even a spider. Die! Die! Tom Smalley, John Wynn Evans. Oh, God! God, I'm glad I didn't eat. I never hold it down. Cornell. Bill Raymond. One of those things you saw in the back decides to hit the glass. We're all up the Chocolate Creek without a piss and for a paddle. Yeah. Myron, Greg Merton. You raise the door high enough to duck under, then I'll shut her down. Norm, Mike O'Farrell. Help me, for God's sake! <laughs> Mrs. Terman, Noah Ben I'll keep Billy till six if you like. The young mother, Monica Ruggiero. How can I wait? My kids are at home. I, I want to go home. The little girl, Joanelle Lusk. The radio announcer, Charlie Munay. This is Dave Herman. Associate producer for The Mist is Phoenix. Executive producer, Tom Lopez. Assistant location technicians, Karen McPherson and Nita Rockwell. The producers would like to thank Adirondack Scenic, the Washington County Sheriff's Department, the Fort Edward High School, Leo Williams, Lena Spencer, Dr. Wolpert, and Max Kabalowitz. Also, Heba, the Siamese cat, Max's chicken, and Santiago, the parakeet. The Mist was mixed at ZBS Studios by Tom Lopez, with special effects created by Fulton, Phoenix, and Clark. If you enjoyed this audio program, look for more Simon & Schuster productions at your local bookstore or record store. To order by mail, use the enclosed form and postpaid envelope. Or for faster service, call our toll-free number 1-800-678-2677.